This minister, Paul, Northern California, it's 2.27 p.m. on 1-3-2013. Please, if you're a regular follower of this ministry, um, understand that I consider today a 7-3 day. If you're not a regular follower, please watch some of my other videos that leads up to this. The Arden Fair false flag that I said was a dry run for a real event. The, the, them inserting, um, what I mean by seven, three day is on the date right here. One plus three is four, five, six, seven, three. Those are two numbers an angel gave me in a dream. Now let me, sh let me tell you how, how sad this is. Everybody's a victim in this and the, uh, from who you ask? The government. The government and Satan. They're all victims. Let's go all the way back here to the Arden false flag. And I know I get attacked for this, but you know what? God always has the glory. By false flag, there was never an active shooter at the mall. What I said was it was reported there was. As a matter of fact, here when they uh, interviewed the suspect, they inter they interjected a picture my goodness, of tombstones. They can't explain how, why they did that. They interjected a picture of tombstones. I'm putting links to a five-point crown. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, they interject it with, at, at, with these tombstones. Look. With all these tombstones, if you examine them carefully, have like Christmas wreaths on. Those are tombstones. Those are tombstones. It was an accident, accidentally on purpose, you might say. So, so go back, and, and so, of course, I'm taking heat for this because it's the truth. And then this guy's issuing targets for capes, and I'm saying that it's about mass casualties and witchcrafts involved. And then what happens? Um, an hour later. My alarm comes under attack, and you can play follow this. And I ask for prayer, and on December 28th, I said I knew this day was coming. And then uh, I give a testimony. Was considering leaving YouTube, probably should have, but I press on. Gave two testimonies. There's the battery, ordered another one. Then my account was messed up and came under attack. I've ordered, uh, fixed it all, fixed iTunes, I fixed YouTube to about 75%, and I we took communion, and um, and then here and and then on December 31st, I explain in detail. I don't have time to play it all. I explain in detail on exactly what permits as an owner of a business, 21 years licensed Google CA space. B S I S. That stands for Bureau of Security Investigative Services. All uh, all security guards, whether armed or unarmed, need to be licensed in some fashion through that regulating agency through the state. And I'm explaining what permits it takes to carry exposed gun and carry concealed gun. And take note, it's about seven hours before the shooting and then I talk about a media false flag and that we're going home soon and an alien and face fake alien vision and then uh, I even show in a dream that God showed me exactly what area that a shooting would take place and then here's the story that brought on so much heat because there was no facts coming out well they're coming out now there's the 7-3 see um, and here's my latest thing Every, it's not just me talking about these things flying around. It's everybody. So let's go, let's go to this story and I want you to hear what they're saying now because it, it, it appear, first let me show you this. Let, let's, let's run Stephen Walton. They've correct, they spelled his name right now through the whole state matching any part of this type of name in the entire state of California. If he, it, it, look, I'm going to tell you that Sheriff John McGinnis is wrong. And I'm going to put a link to, there's a, he doesn't have a guard card or a gun card, the victim. 
But here's the crazy conspiracy theory I have, is that Satan is unleashing a mighty uh, demonic power. You're seeing it in the heavens, and you're seeing it on your, it's just, everybody's under this spiritual attack because God is about ready to, to outpour glory and protection. And this is like Satan's last stand. You understand? So people are becoming demon-possessed and doing things they'd never think of before. And the government is mixing mind control and drugs with it. So here's my theory. And call me crazy if you want. I'll probably block comments it or put it on approval. Demons got a hold of this shooter. Even the security guard said that the guy came in at him looked to appear like he was in a video game um, in his eyes. I, I, I present to you that s someone in the government and the demons knew that this poor guy, uh, the victim here, who doesn't have any licenses, but he'd worked down there, I heard, anywhere from 21 to 23 years. That's why you have insurance and permits. That's why... These uh, these companies making all this money should uh, hire contract security so they're covered liability wise. I'll put a link to this where McGinnis, the former sheriff of Sacramento, he, he states this is BSIS right here. He he, he says that uh, security has to have. Uh, for, look, he said now watch this. I want this in the the feed forever. He added that it is still legal for an employee at any legitimate business to be armed without a license. That's something new to me, and I believe that the state regulating agency would uh, would disagree with him on that. Otherwise, why would they have people like me pay fees, and he doesn't have to pay fees? You either pay a fee or you don't, and the state wants their fees. They are describing him here as an armed guard, but the owner is refusing to comment on whether he had a gun or not, whether ha whether he had permission to say if he was hired as an armed guard. Here's Remember how I said I'll, there's one thing I'll never do, and that's clubs, is because clubs have a way of going around all the loopholes and all the laws put in place for these permits and insurances to save a buck. They'll get like five guys in there with no permits and no insurance, and they'll call them bouncers or doormen. When the when the bouncer was first killed, they announced him as a doorman because that's what you're referred to. It's just a way of them. It's verbiage. They don't want to call you a security guard because at that point they have to uh, have uh, workers comp on you, which is thousands of dollars for doing security work, and they and you have to have a permit. And uh, there's a lot of liability involved. I carried two million dollars in liability. Let's watch this video. And as it plays, there's the there's the bouncer. He was first called the doorman. I believe that evil walked into that bar today, and I believe that what the government's going to do through this bill right here, just signed uh, on one two by Obama, is is the the first people they're going to try to take guns away from. What is this? H R H R forty three ten. All right. Everybody see this? I'll put a link to everything. Let's play this. This is what's going to happen. The people who will be hardest for Obama to take the guns from will be people with permits. People with active gun permits. You can't take my gun because I carry it for a living. You follow me? So they knew this guy didn't have a permit. Someone was watching him. Some demonic, possessed guy went in. And began to shoot for no reason, and these people, the, this unarmed, uh, this unlicensed guard shot back. Even if he had a concealed weapon permit, it would have still been illegal because you have to have a, a gun card through BSIS, which he doesn't have. He doesn't even have a guard card. I just, you need three permits. Verify this through Cal BSIS. Call them. You need a guard card, a gun card, and a concealed weapon permit. He had none. So he was carrying a gun illegally. And Obama is going to run with this. Right now they're laying low. This place will be sued for not having the proper insurances and licenses. And there will be uh, lawsuits against the victim. And I ask that you pray for everybody involved. Because Satan and our evil New World Order government is 
uh, is is the what's behind this, and I'll just play the video. And it'll come out more and more. Trust more me. More information and new questions following the deadly New Year's Eve shooting in Old Sacramento tonight. The night team is learning more about the security guard who police say shot a gunman inside a bar. The new tonight, the owner of that sports corner cafe confirmed that Stefan Walton did in fact work for his bar. The night team's Claire DeWan joins us with more on the training and role of security guards. Claire? Yeah, James Landeros, the owner of Sports Corner, did not want to go on camera, but he did tell us that Stefan Walton has worked here for a long time as a security guard. Police say Stefan Walton was armed and fired shots that night, but the owner of this bar would not say whether Walton was supposed to have a gun. Former Sacramento Sheriff John McGinnis says armed security officers are licensed by the Department of Consumer Affairs. But he wasn't. And they receive more training than those without weapons. He wasn't. It's nothing close to what uh, police officers have, but it's basically uh, an understanding of laws as it relates to the use of deadly force and the handling of a firearm. McGinnis says without a license, it is still legal for an employee at any business to be armed. That's with the consent of the owner. Not as a security clubs. guard. Certain businesses, though, are more likely to hire Not armed security. Not as a security, security guard. Private right. drivers would typically be armed. People in, uh, working in banks and jewelry stores and places where there's high targets. McGinnis says bars are less likely to hire armed security guards, but some people we spoke to welcome it. The police do a good job of protecting their gun. The rubber is uh, uh, assigned or designated to protect and also protect just as well as the police. But the liability of those who fired shots on New Year's Eve will be a question for police and the district attorney to sort out. Anytime you have personnel that are armed, anybody's carrying a firearm, the potential for a mistake in good faith or an accidental discharge or any number of situations that can bring about some damage, uh, injury or death is very real. So that brings with it a, a liability price tag. Now, the bar owner tells me that uh, the employees here are still very shaken up, so traumatized, in fact, that he is thinking about remodeling the entire place, but he does not know when it will reopen. Reporting live in Old Sacramento, Claire Duan, KCRA 319. Claire, also today, the son of two of the victims laid flowers outside the Sports Corner Cafe. Isaiah Cordova says family members who were with his parents tell him that his father accidentally spilled a drink on a woman in the bar, and that's what started the fight. He said he was sorry and everything, you know, he tried to calm down the situation, and then she brought three of her friends. The son calls it a mistake that led to his father and another man killed and three others hurt. I pray for, let me just say this, I pray for all involved. The suspect, the victim, we are being forced into a society, a new world order, where they're using mind control, demons are running loose. I beg you in the name of Jesus. I've been saying this for three years. It's why I left the industry. To get under the blood of Jesus, it's the only safety. There's demons flying everywhere. I'm not the only one saying it. People are talking about how they, their mind was controlled. People are pushing people in front of subways. People are gunning people down in bars. It's because they're, the Satan is controlling the world and the government is allowing it. And now they want to disarm you so it can only... Uh, begin to increase and now I, I promise you when all, when the facts come out they're going to find out that John McGrinnis former sheriff was wrong in order to function as the role as a as a security guard in any capacity uh, you have to have a guard card which he didn't and if you're carrying a gun you have to have a gun permit if your title is uh, is a security guard so pray for all involved, because we are heading into the end of the world. And I'm exposing the biggest conspiracy theory ever, that it, it began with Obama in 2008. It was set into motion to bring us all into a microchipped New World Order Antichrist beast system. And the church is about ready to rapture up out of here. And you better be ready, saints. You better be ready. You heard it here. Um... I'm not, don't judge me, don't send me the hate mail, don't hack my account. I'm just giving my opinion. This did not need to happen. And and the, the, they're just waiting for the right time. One of the guys on the door was also a bouncer that was killed. Did you know that? I'll put a link to that. They announced him as a doorman. 
That's their way of getting out of paying him on workers' comp as a security guard, which is.